Hello, this house is over 300 years old. About 15 years ago we put on this ecological wall covering and after 15 years of living in the house, working in it and cooking in it every single day, the walls are starting to look a little bit shabby. So we're now going to clean it up and repaint it. And the great thing about this surface, we can do it with ecological materials very, very cheaply. And you can see the difference here because we've already started. This elevation has got the clay paint that we made. And this elevation is the one that we're going to do next. The wall's going to need to be cleaned and we're going to repaint it. Furthermore, I've just written a blog post on how we clean this magnificent stone and granite fireplace and without recourse to the normal techniques of using a pressure washer nor a sandblaster. It was very quick and there was very little mess left over at the end. About 15 years ago, we covered the bare stone walls with this mix of chopped hemp and lime. And this was to give a wall covering that was not only an insulator, but would also let the wall continue to breathe because the, the wall behind is stone with clay mortar and it needs to breathe. This is a wall that goes through to the lounge, but we've also done the outside walls on the north and south face with the same material. And it's made a phenomenal difference to the state of the house. Okay, so we've got a litre of boiling water here, which I'm going to add to the mixture. And now we're going to bring it back up to the boil, stirring continuously, and we should see it thicken. That's it, we've now got the paste made, lump free and smooth, and quite thick. So we're going to leave that to cool now. Okay. Oh. Well, despite it's a lovely afternoon, I'm going to get started on the next wall to be cleaned and then painted. We will be continuing the uh, painting outside the house with an exterior grade ecological paint which we'll be making. So, hope you get to make some yourself and have fun.